I'm William, this is the word from the wine room at Putnam Market in Saratoga Springs. And as we run into the end of 2020, I'd like to talk about those parts of the wine world that really need your help. Sherry, of course, had a particularly checkered history, not least of which the reasons were that you could make sherry anywhere, even though the name comes from the town of Jerez in Andalusia in Spain. Uh, so you could get sherry from Cyprus and sherry, God help us, from Britain. And of course, most of that was undrinkable. And in consequence, the world abandoned sherry, partly because it was strong, partly because it was sweet, mainly because none of those things is fashionable. And what it's left us with is vineyards which have been given over to sunflower production or growing cereals. And the acreage of vineyards around Jerez has fallen by two thirds since the middle of the 1980s. And uh, to visit there is to visit some of the great cathedrals of the wine world, enormous warehouses with rows upon rows of extraordinary barrels packed with ancient wines with such intensity of flavour. And yet typically when we think about buying sherry, we'll buy something like Bristol cream sweetened up and syrupy, but it needn't be like that. So this year, instead of picking out some vodka and tonic to cheer up your holiday festivities, why not start the meal with a glass of something like this, a manzanilla on rama, which is to say it's raw, it's not really been filtered, and an extraordinary intensity uh, and a saltiness, which is incredibly appetizing. And yes, it'll cost you $25, but some at least of that $25 will go to keeping this treasure of the wine world alive. <laughs>